Tonight I finished up a K7000. It was actually a uh, 7201 at first that I couldn't get going uh, quick enough. So I uh, found a small enough chassis, uh, one that you know will fit on a 19-inch K7000, and threw it on here and to see if I could get it going. Uh, we're going to go through everything that I had to do. It was an untested chassis. It did not have a dead flyback, so that was a bonus. But I got it going, and I had some problems with uh, color issues. So, and this arcade or monitor repair log, <laughs> not arcade repair log, a monitor repair log. Uh, we're going to go over the K7000 here that I did and the color issues and what I had to do to fix it. Stick around. Today, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Moe's Arcade. And you know how long it's been since I played Black Hole? I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked. Got the mallet in my grasp. Waiting for the moles. Ha! Hiding in their holes. Score, we're keeping tally. I'll be playing till they close now. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't. My high score Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score I'm a mallet master A single fisted blaster You can ask my baby It starts slow then gets faster I'm a record setter my... So the basic repair to start uh, To get it going I just, you know, I tested the flyback I tested the fuse They tested fine uh, I mean, I tested the hot, not the flyback. So with the 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 hot and the fuse testing okay, I I kind of hoping or assuming that the flyback is good still. And so I just went through and I capped it and went over the chassis looking for cold solder joints, just your typical things that you would do for uh, monitor repair. And there really wasn't anything out of the ordinary. And you see, uh, I didn't change all these caps i just tested them and if it was really close i left i put it back in there and i don't want to waste all my new caps no reason to do all that but uh um, when i threw it onto this tube here uh i had some color issues and i'm gonna get back if i can remind myself to put that picture of the tube there and you can see what it looks like and thank you future uses and so you can see it's it looks like the black and the blue are kind of flip-flopped like maybe somewhere it, the the signal's getting inverted or something i don't even know if that's possible between blue and black i, I haven't done that much research but that's that's just kind of what it looked like to me it was the blue was black and the black was kind of blue uh the first thing of course whenever there's color issues is you look at the the color drive transistors here on the neck board which is here and it's going to be q203 and uh these neck boards are all a little different depending on which model you have k7000 covers a lot i try to wipe this off it's a little dirty but it is a c3782 on this neck board i've seen i think two or three different uh, drive transistors for these but i changed that put it back on here and basically it, it was the same no change um, I did test them everything tested fine so I just you know sw switched them around so that way if there really was a problem even though it tested fine it would come up underneath a different color so then I, I decided you know I need to start looking further and so I started looking at this neck board because this neck board didn't belong to this chassis and it was this bottom one here this one was actually soldered in backwards. So I did have some colors that were wrong and almost inverted. I do believe it was this one. No, the, that one's that one's power. Let's see if you can see it. So it must have been that one up here at the top. I, can, I don't remember. I can't remember. But one of them was backwards and it was causing the, the colors to, to look even weirder than normal. So I got that fixed got it all put back together tested it again and 
it, it did look a lot better. I'll, I'll give it that. It looked a lot better. But it didn't fix the problem. It was still black and blue, just like the picture I showed you. And the picture I showed you is actually after I've done all this. Um, so next, I just started looking around in in this area because this is where the, the blue is. And the blue is coming into the neck board. Sorry, an itch. And these two resistors here, they tested bad. Well, I wouldn't say bad. They were just higher than they should be. And there's one over there that's the same. These two resistors are R211 and R212, and they are 2.7 ohms. And they were when I tested them, the these are these are good, but the other ones they tested at 4.5 ohms. So I changed those out once again. It looked better, but it did not fix the problem. So I'm scratching my head, and I'm I've pulled the chassis out, and I'm I've gone over and looking for cold solder joints. I checked. You know, the yoke wires, I, I checked, um, you know, header pins all the way around. I checked all the pots. Uh, I think I probably took this chassis in and out at least 10 times between yesterday and today. Worked on it overnight last night and a night. And let's see, what was the next thing I worked on? Okay, so the next thing, like, on my list would be this IC1 here is really the only things that that I would normally look for would be this chip and that transistor or maybe a short in the tube or the tube is going bad. So I'll show you this guy here. It is a, I have it written down, UPC 1397C. Let's see if I can focus there. There it is. And that's IC1. You can see in the middle at the bottom right, or the, well, the left side nearest us on the bottom of the chip there. Uh, that is a, a uh, like a video amplifier chip. And when I first started, I can't get it to focus for some reason. Uh, when I first started, you know, I just would always look at the transistors there and then I would just assume that it was a bad tube if I if that didn't fix it. And this actually does fix a lot of problems with the video and the colors and stuff. So if if you don't have like an IC tester, go ahead and order. Uh, this one here is in a lot of monitors, but the one I see most is uh, the 1203N. It's LM1203N. That's in a lot of monitors. It's actually, it was actually in the 7201 that was in here before. But yeah, that since sometimes it's on the neck board. This chip too will be on the neck board. But that's another thing that you can also check. And uh, get yourself an IC chester, tester. I need to get one myself, as a matter of fact. But what I ended up doing is I just uh, took a new one that I knew was good. And I piggybacked it and just set it on the top here, hoping that that would work. And I'm not 100% sure that it would work on this one, and this chip in particular. But it was worth a shot, a lot easier than, than desoldering it. But it, it, it didn't change anything there either. And I really, I assumed that that, that worked. So <laughs> I went on to the next thing and kept looking. And so I, I basically, I've, I've gone to the video out to the tube. I've gone video out to the neck board. So, and I've come across here. The only section I hadn't done is the video in right here. And so, first I just checked, because I've done this before, I checked my TPG, and there, each one of these three dip switches in the front here, one, two, and three, that's your red, green, and blue. Well, I've I've bumped it before, and I've either turned one off or turned several off. Or number four here inverts the video for, like, Nintendo cabs, you know, Sanyo monitors, and stuff like that. So I've bumped those before, and I've, I've had that problem happen. So that was like, okay, let's, let's check the TPG and make sure that's okay. And that was good. I had continuity on my cables here. The pins were fine. It's, it's pretty new, so I wasn't worried about that. So then if you just look here, and I was following basically the traces on the bottom of the board, and the and this one's nice that it has the little green pattern for us that we can uh, we can actually trace back. Let's see if we get any better light over here. Not really. A little bit better. Okay, so the 
basically you can see the uh yeah, I'm gonna have to switch hands. That's a little better. Oh I'm leaning right in front of the light, that's what the problem is. Okay, so you can see here we have red, green, and blue are the first pins. And it and it looks like a this really nasty maze, but it really does go the red to this black transistor and then the green here and the blue here. And I think their their base probably all connects, so at some point they all do make contact together. But I traced it back and I pulled this transistor here and it was bad. It was it had one leg that was reading almost too well it just depends on how you test them but it was reading it had one leg that was reading bad compared to the others and normally it, i get get it to read one way like i, I do it in a diode test and usually i'll get a 0.5 on one side and then a, uh out of range on the on the uh the inverse and that i wasn't getting that on that one and the other two tested fine i swapped that and I'll show you what it looks like. Let me get set up here and I'll hook everything back up. I got my little uh, test rig from work. And so I'll get this set up and we'll take a look, good look at it. I have major focus issues. Okay, so pull the TPG aside here. And we should be good to go. I think I have everything hooked up. All right, is there high voltage? Let's turn on the TPG. There we go. Now it does have some degauss issues. Uh, it really doesn't come through on the camera as bad as it is. It's a lot more satura saturated here and then really light over here. But uh, a little bit of a tension on that a little with the degauss wand and that'll be fine i'm really not too worried about that i just wanted to make sure i had red green and blue and then it came on i've had so many problems with monitors lately let's uh go ahead and check do you have really good white the black is a little washed out but i think that's just because i have this light on it's a little better there i have weird lighting because i don't have i don't have proper lighting set up to film in here but it does all look good. It had some, uh, it has a, a little bit of geometry issues. Uh, I was talking to my buddy Eric about it. And it, it seems like every monitor I test has that. I'm not sure if it's the signal that my TPG is putting out. I don't know if it's a faulty unit or if it's, um, eh, it's a little dark, but you can kind of see it a little better. Um, yeah, I don't know if mine's faulty or if it's just something that it does. Or maybe it's just been on them, these K7000s that I've been testing. I'm not sure. But it is looking good. Those That is what I had to do to it. it uh, after that, really, it was, it was just uh, uh, dialing it in. And, and once I, ha I, you know, I went through hell trying to, you know, turn the dials and, and there's, you know, six on the back here the cut off and the drive and I, just to try to get a white and i i couldn't get it all the way white it was just way too blue in the background but once i got that that little uh resistor which is a 3904 if i didn't say and it's a, it was at q3 and that was for the blue but like i said you have your your uh your uh red green and blue right there in order you can just look and, and see the wire and and see right what it is so it was pretty easy once i decided to come at it from the other side of the chassis it was like the first thing i found but anyway i hope that helps somebody um, check your transistors check your tube check ic1 and then check uh it was oh, what was it q q3 not q203 that was on the neck board yeah, Q3, and it was a 3904 on this chassis anyway. So hopefully that helps you, and we'll see you on the next log. Why is it so dark? So these two right here are going to be ground in 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? 
I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. Super but if hang I didn't get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah! Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So, everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.